Hello, I'm Crow, and I play the character Richard City, or Ricky, in this episode 10, 12 Ratlings and Some Dogs. We the squad assist the town people with minor tasks, and less people are maimed or killed. Then, with the promise of some actual time off, we set about to solve a dog theft in the watershed district with that distinct Delta Squad panache. Hope you guys enjoy. So after your previous shift of dealing with the interesting people of the city and answering as many calls as you can and even helping a cat out of a tree named Help. <laughs> that poor, poor dog. <laughs> And responding to a rabid dog call and terminating that call in the same application of the brakes. <laughs> you guys manage to arrive at the station. You are debriefed and everything is fine for now. You walk back up to your room and there in the middle of the room is Frog. Who? No, no. He said we walk back up to our room, and there is Frog. How is Frog? Frog appears to be Frog. Does he look hungry? Do I have to summon more flies? <laughs> You're like, well, time to use magic. <laughs> like ten seconds in. Uh, okay. Um, it it. You're you're not an expert on Frog, unless you want to roll for that. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Chromanova has tons of frogs. <laughs> You're like, I've seen that in a coloring book once. <laughs> they called them dinosaurs back then. Yeah, no. Frog is there. Um, everything is as you've left it. It seems like uh, you have had a successful shift, despite all of the misadventures and uh, chaotic things. Everything has actually started to fall into routine. You realize that Sector G-17 is, despite everything you thought, acceptable and not as deadly as you were led to believe. So far, that is. <laughs> nope, not my guy. So what time is it right now? It's early morning. Um, you guys come off shift by the time the sun starts to rise and you report for shift um, as the sun is starting to set. But remember, it is not a 24-hour day. I must... To the tailor. You must to the tailor. Yes. So so you are you are for, you are going to forego a period of fulfilling rest. Uh so so you may go to the tailor. Yes. Alright. Um you're you're gonna roll the night shifter dilemma. Okay, I, I understand having been a night shifter before, I know you're a night shifter. This is the dilemma you're like, I got shit to do, so okay. Uh, does anyone else want to try to forego sleep? No, no. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my rest. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep right in the car. Wait, you're just gonna sleep. You're just gonna sleep in the APC like. I didn't go upstairs with them. I was already asleep in the car. Oh, so so when they come back and they're like, "All right, boys, another shift," you just like sit up in the chair and you're like, "All right, here we go." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, man, you coming with? Nah, I'm pretty comfy. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm just like, yeah, you guys, you guys try to wake me up, and hey. I just snore louder. I knew a sergeant who was tired of running for the bunker every time the alarm went off, so he started sleeping on the hood of a Humvee. That's At fair. At some point during his rest, uh, he gets up and puts his clothes and all of his other stuff that he uh, had with him uh, on the uh, car itself on the outside so it can air out. Oh. <laughs> It's a hobo trick. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Doing that inside. He's from the street. Motor pool. <laughs> yeah, just in the motor pool. Like, you hear, like, air wrenches and shit. And there's this guy who's just putting his clothes out. And he's like, hey. <laughs> just raggedy. Yeah. Right back to sleep. Okay. Um, so the Chromanovan and Uriah are going to sleep. The deputy slash Krieger is going to go find the tailor. Um, Rich City is having a sleep in the vehicle with his clothes on the outside of the vehicle. Yeah. Uh, what is Griglack, son of Griglack, doing? Griglack will go along to the tailor just to make sure oh. shady happens. Hmm. Uh, all, all right. Um, have a nice dress. Yeah. Uh, the, sure. So, um, Griglack and the Krieger uh, <laughs> head out into the early morning sun. You have not seen the sun in some time. Its rays are blinding and unpleasant. 
<laughs> I I, <laughs> I reach in the bag and pull out the little protective inserts that clip over the front of the gas mask. <laughs> So wait, you're wearing the gas mask, but you just put the fucking sun visor on the goggles and you're just like, <laughs> breathes happily in Krieger. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Uh, Grig, like any special preparations as the day star rises? No. Understood. <laughs> I thought you were going to try to stare it down in intimidation or something. <laughs> like, uh, Grig like blind. All right. Um, you find the tailor who had made the coat. Um, yes. The the over the over the cloak rather the boat cloak. Uh, the, well, no, the, I'd, I'd had the overcoat. Man. Yeah, yeah, and and so um, yeah, you talked about a boat cloak for Diggs's character, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. But he wasn't interested. So no. Grig like gets one. Yeah. Oh, I see how it is. Wait, so people who the... go with you to the tailor get get nice things. Yes. Okay. And I'd like. Uh, Did we talk about that last put... time? No. No. No, this this was this was yeah this was much earlier in the campaign. He was trying to get you to get a boat cloak. You're like they're classy as fuck, and you guys like I don't need that shit. I'm I'm already classy. So yes, I'd like to commission a boat cloak in fine wool for Griglack, and I'd like to get a flak weave put on the lining of my jacket. Okay. The the guy says he can do it. Anything for an officer of the Magistrata Mundanus. He says, I, I, I won't even charge if um, you do me a favor. What is this favor? He, he leans over the table and he goes, there are some kids who keep stealing from my pallets out back. They're stealing, they're stealing my empty bottles for my milk. And the milkman is finding me. And he's stealing these bottles and they're throwing them against the side of my building. I need this to stop. I can't keep getting fined for this. This nickel and diming shit has to end. It's and he he goes, sir, you don't understand. It's been like, it's been like two hundred in fines over the past six months. They charge you per bottle. I will take care of this issue for you. He goes, y you get that to stop. I'll I'll do all your tailoring. And he goes, you and your simple friend. <laughs> <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, I imagine Greg Lack, like, shake, you know how all these, like, shitty businesses have the, uh, the small little vending machine that's full of, like, the gumballs from the 80s? You know what I mean? That have just been in that machine since they installed it? I just imagine Greg Lack, like, picking that up and shaking it, and being like, come out, candy, and, you know, and trying, trying to get some. Ugh. I wonder Dust. if we should negotiate for flat weave in the boat cloak as Griglack tends to run towards gunfire. <laughs> I'd pay for that if I was there. <laughs> you, you didn't want to go. I didn't realize I wanted to go. go. On my morning enthusiastic. Well, he made it seem like children. I'd be in trouble if I didn't sleep. He said, "For go your sleep." I yes. was scared. Oh yes, Griglack. I will pay for this. Griglack rewarded because Griglack nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. I just have a lot of money to burn. Well, yeah. All right. That your character uses magic, you probably need rest. I yes. I am going to advise the shopkeep not to touch his bottles for a little while. He and goes, then I'm going to go back to the station, pick up some flash grenades and some tear gas grenades, and I'm going to booby trap the bottles. <laughs> what? So that when the children go to pick them up, they get flash banged and tear gas. Oh my god. Hold on. Do you have the demolition skill? Uh, no. I just have grenade usage. A hundred points that you just got can go to demolition. <laughs> it could. Yeah. Um, Hold on. So, you, you okay, it is grenade usage. This is a booby trap. I'll, I'll allow it. I, yeah. I want a very simple, literally, like, dig a small hole in the dirt. Put the grenade in there, set the bottle on top so the spoon's holding it down. I figured it would not be advanced. Okay, that's that's fine. So nothing too complex. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. You accomplish that without much error. You're you're a Krieger. You're used to fighting a dirty war. <laughs> I remind him again not to touch the bottles. Okay. Okay. Um, 
it will be done. He says, come back in a few days for your, for your cloak. It, it will take a few days. He goes, I, I have to do this after hours. He goes, I don't own the business, so my boss will kill me. But he's like, I rent the business space. You're helping me out. He, he goes, he goes, God Emperor bless you. And then he goes, and your simple friend. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Greg Lack and Deputy, please both test toughness. Toughness. Uh, toughness, toughness. So how do you do that? You're gonna roll under your toughness, please. Oh gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Greg Lack is uh fifty seven I blow. You fucking blew it! <laughs> And Greg Black Pass. Uh, Deputy, you have one level of fatigue, please. One level fatigue. You needed some sleep. I warned you. I did. I did. Oh, thank God I went to sleep then. <laughs> oh. trick. Uh, that should be one of your counters. Believe me, by next week, we should have all of this translated over just fine. Um, I also have to make note. Boat cloak. Boat cloak flag weave. Greg Black's still insane. Great. Yes, that insanity doesn't go away. All insane. Yeah. In the membrane. You're not that crazy. No, you're not that crazy. You're just slightly crazy. Um. Okay. So the next thing that happens, I'm presuming you go back to the station after you've. Yes. Of course. All right. Um. What's my fatigue threshold? Um. It should be your toughness bonus. Uh. So you you should be fine. Yeah, you should be fine for now. But if you start okay. if you start laying on to that, you're going to not have a good time. So, uh try not to run any marathons or exert yourself too terribly hard, but you are like feeling groggy and angry. You're like crabby right now. Um after a good or good enough night's sleep with the uh wind whistling through the broken AC system because someone did put a hole in the wall and remove the AC duct and never repair it and the croaking of a frog which has now become your mascot you you are awakened by the call over the tannoy system delta shift Report for duty. 15 minutes. Briefing room. Damn it. Excellent. I, uh, I get dressed and I reach for my great coat on the hanger to remember it's not there and I feel naked the rest of the day. Okay. Got it. All right, Sarge, you look like shit. <laughs> how, how can you tell? I'm, I, I think I've still got the sunglasses on the gas. So it's you're just, matter. you're just sitting there as, well, he, he could psychically be like, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have warp sense. I can passively detect stuff. <laughs> you, you try. Hold on. Let me do some magic. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if you're feeling good today. <laughs> and then you turn inside out and burst into flames, and you're like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. feeling good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So yeah, they they called you to a uh, shift. You ha- you have 15 minutes. All right, time to go. Yeah, I will promptly be in the briefing room. I get up and go to my locker really quick, take out my um, my subtle little fancy box I got for my family, and just kind of take out my customized gun, kind of just wipe it down with like a rag really quick and make sure it's loaded still, put it back in, lock my locker away, and head in. Yeah, uh, my character, uh, he just looks at, he gets out of the back of the truck, after hearing the uh, thing with his little stretch, and uh, he walks over to the giant bucket of uh, dirty water that had been set out to wash the car, and he kind of just washes his face off with it. And oh, gargles <laughs> <and> off! <laughs> so he's he's just doing his morning benediction like it's a sink, just like you know. And yeah, oh my spinning, god! Yeah, he's just he's just doing the water washing thing. And uh, water with people bread floating in it. Yeah. People yeah. bread, bird shit, tires, dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, he he had put like all the all the tools and stuff that was like in the back that made him uncomfortable. He just kind of like put it on the hood and some parts around the car and just like left the door wide open. It looks like a hot mess over there now. He just puts on his coat and his jacket and his shirt and everything, uh, kind of half acidly. Um, he. <laughs> He's putting his boots on, he's knocking shit over, waking his way up, up there, trying to light up a cigarette, and he's just like, Oh, uh, where's the where's the uh, beefing room at? I hate it. Where's the uh, 
Hey, where's the beefing? Hello? He's like calling down a hallway. There's no one around. And he's like, fuck it. And he pulls out a cigarette and starts lighting it up. Good God. All right. What about Uriah? Uriah does the same thing he does every fucking day where he just gets out and he's, oh, he needs to be there immediately. So he just does like the speed run 80% for like, do you know me? <laughs> and then just, like, <laughs> uh, puts on his uniform and uh, and just like power walks down. Uh, as you're power walking down, <laughs> you see a guy smoking a cigarette calling for a beefing room. You realize it's one of your squad mates who looks disheveled and quasi homeless. Ricky, Hi, Yuri. You mean, oh, where's you the, mean where's briefing the... room? What? Briefing room. Yeah, where, where is that at? Just, just follow me. Follow you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just know that by now. What? You should know that by now. Oh, sorry. I couldn't hear you. Like, uh, somebody was shooting guns in the, in, in the uh, car fixie place. That was you. <laughs> yeah, but it was really loud. I couldn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is is the Chromanovan just headed there after after cleaning? Yeah, I walk past them having this awkward conversation. And I just kind of ignore it. Yeah, you're just like uh, I have warp stuff to do. Yeah, doing yeah. yeah, doing the I have papers to sign kind of bureaucrat walk. Got it. And uh, Grigline. I have glasses on that aren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Griglack, son of Griglack, how do you prepare for your briefing? Uh, Griglack pet frog on head. Aw. <laughs> frog looks somehow appreciated by this gesture. Good frog. He is. Totally will not kill us at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the real evil. And you're like... <laughs> he is Lord Diablo, the prime evil. <laughs> <laughs> the prime evil. You must defeat Bale. Um, as you uh, all go into the briefing room, uh, Lieutenant Kelso comes out. Uh, he's got his helmet just kind of hanging on the strap uh, from his waist. And he's just wearing the uniform, and he looks perfectly calm, and he goes, Well, um, talked with the captain, and How's she's, she, she, oh, she's fine. Um, nice. she, she has decided that if you guys can clear your calls for tonight and not cause too much a ruckus, you can have three paid days off. Wait, this place pays? <laughs> yeah. Arguably, so much money in my account. <laughs> yeah. So um, he goes. Now we do have a few strange, outstanding calls. I need you guys to be on the lookout for. We've had dogs going disappearing down in the docks district. All the dogs have disappeared. I'm just staring at that. <laughs> All right, Sergeant, so doing like can you go on midnight run page. <laughs> yeah. So he goes. All all the dogs disappeared. All of them. All. All of them. All one of them? No. There was a mess oh. of dogs running around the docks, fighting each other over fish scraps, fighting the homeless people, eating the homeless people. They're all gone. They all disappeared. Uh, so, this weird. We're going to just be on the lookout. This is the shit that gets called in, man. Uh, all right. Now, the next thing. There apparently some prankster going around. Uh, somebody booby trapped some milk jugs, and there's some blind children. So, uh, just be on the lookout for terrorism or uh, recidivists. Or, and I'm just watching Deputy like die laughing quietly. Yeah, I rolled for that. They are very blind. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sorry. I'm lost. What? I'm so glad that got the kids and not the milkman. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that weird. I mean, I, we had to eat soup, so dog soup doesn't seem like a terrible stretch. No, no, no. Deputy's dying because he set that booby trap up and blinded all the kids. <laughs> They're not gonna fuck with the milk bottles now because <laughs> they got powdered glass in their eyes. <laughs> God, you're terrible. Well, there was tear gas in there too. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> so he goes, uh, that's... <laughs> I'm sorry, give me a second. He just goes, and that's about it. Uh, somebody hit a, a burrito stand, so be on the lookout for a missing burrito stand. They said they hit it with a large municipal vehicle. Uh, we didn't get a description. 
they said there was a rowdy bunch of people inside, so just be on the lookout. I guess a garbage truck or something. Um, oh, the bridge is closed pending investigation of the Adeptus uh, Arbites. They said uh, the, the bridge is closed, and if you drive over the bridge, they'll kill you. And they, they, they didn't just say you guys. That was everybody. It's an implied everybody. But good, they will kill you. Tip. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'd not cross the bridge. They're they're investigating. They already threw three people off it. But anyways, uh, that that's about it. Y'all have a safe shift, and uh, just be be on the lookout for them missing dogs and someone setting up bombs and stuff. Have a safe, and <laughs> and he he walks out. Oh, those kids! Why? That's horrible. We should investigate that first. <laughs> Yeah, I probably could should, fix it. We should uh, <laughs> finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they won't be blind, but they definitely will see something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, kid, did you want to see nothing forever or that? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, you 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 show up at like the home for the blind to finish the job. <laughs> you're just like you're like, hey, kid, do you know what a knife feels like? <laughs> I wonder if I have that aura. I walk in, they can just see me in their like blindness, like something's here, and it's just like a demon walking towards them. Yeah, they like, ah, ah! they just scream. I don't want to see anymore. They just scream and run out a window, and people are like, "What's with these kids? <laughs> they came in oh, blind." Teddy bears. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Um, as you guys get in the vehicle, uh, you see that all the tools that were inside the vehicle are scattered around the vehicle. Who did this? Now I'm just over here, uh, just finishing up my last can of soup that I had stored. I'm like, oh, it's me. Don't worry, I'll get it. And I just uh, take a uh, long uh, breaker bar and I just start like scraping shit off the hood and like pushing it <laughs> onto the ground. There's shit clanging everywhere. <laughs> I'm like kicking buckets out of the way, and I'm like, don't worry, I'll get this all cleared off. And I'm just like moving all the shit out. And uh, you hear guns hitting the floor and bullets and stuff from the inside of the truck. Oh my. Speaking of, before we step off, I check all of my ammunition. Am I low on anything? No. Uh, it has been replenished. Excellent. And I'm like, look, see, basically new, good as new. I mean, much more space in there. We don't have to worry about, like, you know, stuff flying around. It was really unsafe. Do we have an open external toolbox, or are they all filled to the gills? Uh, they, they are open. Uh, there's also the internal ones are open. All of your tools have been now knocked everywhere. <laughs> I was looking for dope. <laughs> no way. I appreciate your candor. <laughs> let's, he gets, let's he's like, well, there wasn't any, so I, I just ended up falling asleep. Okay. So just scoop up like an armful and dump them into one of the outside toolboxes and we'll organize it later. Okay. Got it. Um as as you uh start the vehicle and uh head on out, uh the uh a call comes over the Vox. Uh, Delta shift, Delta shift, this is G-17. This is Delta, uh, go ahead. Reports. Control. Over. Reports coming in of Watershed. We have reports of someone, quote, stealing a dog, unquote. Address to follow. Making soup. This is clearly I mean, the highest priority, and I hit the light. <laughs> <laughs> nope, if anyone's gonna kill a dog, oh, it's no. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This this team, this team. Okay, okay, you okay. Need a driving check, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. That is a twenty-nine, which nice. actually is. All right, so you not only hit the lights, you police squatted out of there, and you managed to just take the corner just right. You know, you're you've got the lights blaring and everything. You're cutting through traffic in that beautiful, beautiful way you see in movies, where all the cars leave just enough space, and you just frogger your way through traffic. Everyone in the back is just that. no. Go ahead. I was gonna say we need like an '80s soundtrack. Yeah. Kind of shit. Oh yeah, that so would be hit great. The, hit, hit the dirty streets. Hit the dirty streets in your Magistrata Mundanus vehicle. Before long, you were at the uh, Watershed District, and you uh, find a bunch of civilians gathered, uh, chattering, and they start flagging you over. It is a district of old industrial buildings, uh, some converted workspaces, and some uh, industrial loft space for uh, the workers above the manufacturing factoriums. 
All right. Does my successful drive check still? Yes, it holds. You you it do holds. not run them all over. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I'm gonna kick it over and slide sideways. Up. Very cool. That wall, is right? another like, drive oh. test right there, <laughs> because you just described something complex. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing this out there. If we, he doesn't stop unless he hits something. <laughs> <laughs> Because he could have said, I just pull up and park. 26. Okay, uh, Tony Hawk, you can't flip the vehicle. Uh, and you Blues Brothers it into position, like perfectly. And the lights, you, you just kill the lights when you stop. It's just perfect. And then the air brake pops and hisses. Are, they, are, are the people watching us now? Yeah, they're just like, whoa. <laughs> they're like... The cool cops have arrived. Yeah, we just kick open the back door. I got two guns in my hands, just walking out like we're ready. Where's the problem at? So wait, you're you're walking out of the vehicle, Charlie's Angel style, like yeah, we got like the cloak flowing behind us, our sweet guns. You know? Oh my god! So you're just <laughs> bad city. You're just gun posing as you walk out of there. You're just like oh, I'm always like, like, yeah. He's just he's just walking out and he's just like, where's the problem at? Uh, the, the people look confused at your firearms, but they've seen stranger things today. And they go, yeah, we, we called you guys. There's someone stealing dogs. These guys drove down the street and they stole this dog. Well, that just Describe sounds like the most retarded thing I've ever heard. I mean, who would steal a dog? Well, they said it was a bunch of really short people driving a bread truck. I fucking oh, hate no. these goddamn Netflix. <laughs> He said they, who, who invented these things? He said, <laughs> sorry, uh, DM must feel joy when the players get angry at that which he has created. <laughs> sick of yeah, them, so so he, he, they describe a imperial bread van uh, and they said the side door came open and a bunch of wormy, greasy, misshapen looking ratlings with a long net snatched a dog off the street and then the ve vehicle sped away and they, they, they saw him just drive off. Um, was any of the ratlings in the past all like mutated or weird looking? They, they looked weird but not mutated. Okay, because the way you just described it made me think like fuck's going on with these ratlings? Keep in mind. Now I worry about the ratlings. See, keep, that's the range of my character. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep, keep in mind. Yeah. Keep yeah, there's one currently stuck in our suspension, but I feel bad for it. <laughs> die as normal rattlings, not as mutant rattlings. That's a terrible death. Yeah, the keep, emperor won't like that at all. Keep keep in mind that civilian reports are not always accurate. I believe everything yeah. I'm told. <laughs> you're like you're like this. This is absolutely true. Okay. But did this dog belong to any of you? He goes, no. It's just a stray. But he's, and then someone else in the crowd comes up and goes, and someone else in the crowd comes up and goes, they stole my dog out of my yard. That's All right, where, where did they go? And I'm just writing down everything. Um, it, it, yeah. And people, people start coming forward saying they've had dogs stolen out of their backyards. They had dogs stolen out of their front yards. They had dogs stolen while they were walking. They said always the same van. And the license. Okay, so all of the descriptions are all the the same dogs. van. It's all matching the same van. In the Do they si describe the same or similar individuals inside? Yeah, well, they describe them as ratlings. They just say gross ratlings. And they said they smell of rotten bread. I think the bigger crime is they rotted bread. Did any of them get identification numbers off the vehicle? They said the only thing that they noticed on that vehicle was that the tires were very muddy with black mud. Mm. All right. I'm going to go uh, to the call box. All right. Mm -mm. Ricky, I think our tires are muddy. <laughs> now, like, no, I've washed them up. And he bloody, looks over and he goes, bloody. fuck, I think I washed off another car completely. <laughs> <laughs> clean alphas, alphas, alphas. Yeah, you, alphas like our car is always clean. These guys are great. I found this can that was in one of the toolboxes, and it it tasted great. I don't know what it was, and uh, <laughs> it says Valvoline on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's my favorite energy drink, Valvoline. <laughs> really calorie dead. And yeah, he's just looking around the crowd, and uh, he's just like. Now these people look like dogs, though. How how is it even possible? Sci science test. 
<laughs> he, you know, he, ser- he seriously thinks that there's, like, dog people walking 16. around. I can understand that. All right, so you're making a so. sign of science check, and you find that <gasps> nothing warpy. Damn it. Okay, they're not warp dogs. That's a plus. <laughs> you're like, you're like, <laughs> you just stand oh, there. God. You just stand there, and you're like, they could be denizens of the. No, 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 they're not. Never mind. <laughs> they could be denizens of the dark. Re- no, they're <laughs> no, they're just dogs. He, he does pose and everything though, like he's got one hand reaching and his cape billows out yeah. behind. Yeah, like the yeah, wind. Like the wind picks <laughs> up. Yeah, the wind picks up, and there's like leaves blowing around him. You know, like in a vortex, and his eyes are glowing, and he's like, uh, "I detect." Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> All right, so you go to the police call box. Yes. Um, I need to speak to Lieutenant Kelso. It, you, you hear a few rings uh, as they patch him through, um, and then you hear hold one, and then you hear a few more rings as they patch him through, and you hear Kelso like trying to wake up, and he claws the phone off the wall. So you hear that clank, 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 and he's like, yeah, oh, what's going on? Eric Kelso, I am so happy that I got you before you went to sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, where in this city would have a very dark black mud? He thinks a minute and he goes, uh, probably sewers. Sewers? Yeah, all that shit runs down the sewers, man. There's no dirt here. This is a stone. <laughs> well, that is why it caught my eye. Thank you very much. Instrumental to the investigation. Yeah, he's and just I snoring. Call. Hang up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, feels like we're, it feels like all of a sudden we're like in Andy Griffith for some reason. I can't figure out why. <laughs> what do you mean? Try to try up to get back just, to the truck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think Andy Griffith had, uh, like, horrible little rat people stealing dogs. No. It- and then, like, fucking ten minutes of full-auto gunfire and people screaming. Well, I suppose we just need to shoot him in the face, Opie. <laughs> Get the heavy flamer, Opie. <laughs> we do have one. We do have one in the Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> Just let everyone know. That's what I think we have. Yes, yes, it is. All right. All right. So, in the truck, I assume there are maps. There are. Okay. Do they have municipal buildings marked? Yes, they do. I am looking to see an area where municipal bread is very close to sewer entrance. Uh, you're going to need to do an inquiry check or search navigate. However, uh, other people can check with you to help you do this. I would suggest someone... Maps are not complete. Somebody else look at some. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I would recommend... Like yeah, I'd, I'd recommend Uriah for this test. Uh, I don't have fucking inquiry. Do, do you have search, navigate, in anything you I can use to... navigate surface, and that... I have awareness that counts as search. Yeah, let's do it. All right, okay. now we get surface because it's in space. Let's go. I have some pretty um, decent perception. Which one is the ones again? Oh, 71. Three degrees of failure, assuming standard test. All right. Quick, like, look at my app. Oh, whoa. So, okay. <laughs> Roll 15. <laughs> so so as the Krieger looks at the map and goes, I don't I cannot read this, and then Uriah's like, Well, technically, if you look at the grid cross references, Griglank stabs a finger in the center of the map and is like Yeah. He he just points. Just <laughs> Alright. I think that's it maybe our next step. Alright. All in agreement, say aye. Or scream. No problem what? here. <laughs> oh god alright so uh, I, I take it you guys are all oh my god that fucking giant manual alright there uh, I, I, I take it you guys are all uh, deciding to follow up on this investigation yes All right. because if, if the Underhill gang is in, or any ratlings who gives a shit if it's the Underhill gang just ratlings involved <laughs> we need to be very power. terrible displaying bias era. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you, you can't have bias now. That, that would be terrible. Yeah, you can't. This is Imperium. Oh, right. Bias is ad humans <laughs> is a virtue. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, as you are driving up to the position that Griglax stabbed, you see an abandoned 
bakery, a warehouse next door, and then a culvert with double chained doors going into sewer access. Excellent. The weather is remarkably clear. Of course it is. The rain would cover our approach. <laughs> we tend to make a lot of noise. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, we? As okay. I start floating above the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just do like a T-pose, and you're singing the Halo theme. You're like, ha, 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 and you're just floating forward, and people are like, oh, God. No, just the Emperor. I'm I'm going to keep it in a low gear, and I'm going to crawl as quietly as I can to block the entrance out of that sewer. Oh, so so you're just like, I'm creeping, I'm creeping, and there's a la, 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 yeah, like yeah, a fucking yeah. diesel sound as you <laughs> roll forward. I don't, like half a mile an hour slowly to block this entrance door. Okay, okay. So let me draw this out, because even though it was cool when we had the maps, they were just killing this game. Um, so here's, here's the, uh, here's the abandoned bakery and the warehouse next door and the culvert to sewer access is here with the X. So you're going to drop the vehicle there because the culvert goes down at about a 30 degree angle into a sub basement. Um, oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work for the culvert. Um, again, I apologize for not having a fancy map for that, but it kills this thing. And by next time, I hope to have some foundry maps, which would be like really cool. Um, Research. I don't know where the truck went. It's somewhere. It's, it's the, no, it's not under the table. <laughs> yeah. Anyone see the truck? Yeah. Where did the truck go? Oh, you don't where have it. You lost off. it. I brought it home to fix it. Yeah. So you, you park in there and you hear nothing. There's no noise. All the windows are smashed out or boarded over. You hear the wind whistling through the building. I, I unscrew the filter on my gas mask so I'm not hearing my Darth Vader breath so I can hear better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So I spin it off for about 20 seconds. Like, oh, nine, and then put it back on. <laughs> okay, so as, as, you're, as you're doing that, you, you think you hear some, like, crunching? And you hear some some scraping and some other strange moving noises from inside the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And the warehouse is here. Okay. What can I see for entrances into the warehouse? There is one door. Is it large enough for a vehicle to fit in? I knew you were going to ask that. Yes. <laughs> is it large enough to make room for it? <laughs> 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 it worked really well on the feet guy. Yeah, it did. Say oh my god. Where is the door at? Alright, the door is on the culvert side. Uh it's right here. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're already close to it. Yes. Well, I do believe, gentlemen, that we have some squatters in this building, and it is imperial property that cannot stand. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know it's a very misallocated resource? <laughs> Exterminate! <laughs> <laughs> Bureaucracy <laughs> intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the question is Do we go in on foot or do we bring the guns on the truck? That could damage the property or surrounding properties. But. <laughs> we do tend to do that, yes. But uh, it's, it's your call if that's. If that's or worth the risk, Sergeant. Hmm. I just don't want to be in front of that door, and a bread truck runs me over. We should get crack grenades. Crack grenades? Yeah, um, anti-vehicle grenades. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. They crack. I was like, vehicle. dude, I'm all no, for it. Yeah, okay, they, let they, me they be in the area. Not everywhere. Yeah, it, it, it makes you lose a... <laughs> It makes you lose a bunch of weight and scratch yourself a lot. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hated when I see when they see us. Do we want them on crack as well? I'm gonna get resistance toxic just so I can do more drugs. <laughs> also, everybody's sheets have been ported to Foundry. Hey. Thank you. Oh wow. What what grenade types do we have on the vehicle? Um, you have accessible to you CS CN. Smoke, flash, and a box marked riot. <laughs> riot is not CS or CN? No. 
Who's Riot? Oh, oh is that is misspelled Uriah? Uriah, you got your grenades over here. It's jalapeno. And and I have the orb. You have the mysterious device. That is correct. It looks like a pitch black puddle from whatever angle you look at it. it cool. Clearly, clearly not something I should fuck with. <laughs> as you're as you're playing with it like a Rubik's cube. Yeah, as I'm like throwing <laughs> it and catching it. You just played a hacky sack with you. You're doing the uh, uh, man. You're doing the Garrett thing from Labyrinth, where you're just fucking doing that with the orb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look how good. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, let's 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 crack this on foot. Yeah. All right. So how are you going to make He's your got approach? A cigarette in his mouth, and he got two pistols. He's ready to rock. I'll pull the I'll pull the shotgun off the rack and put it on the sling. All right. So you're going to take I a shot? I pull out my long last. All right, so. Chief. We're, we're doing the noisy guns meme in the truck, like feet from the door. Where yeah. That's uh, yeah, so you're just <laughs> like all loading it up. And, yeah, and it's like Guy Ritchie. Gun. Is this a plug-in battery? Yeah, it's it's literally just yeah. like a big oh, iPhone like a, looking. It's like one of those old uh, cameras. Like, yeah, it's got to have that capacitor. <laughs> it's got to have that capacitor line, yeah. you know, where you just snap it in. It's like, and then it like goes <laughs> yeah. outside your human oh, hearing. Shit. Yeah. I, I dogs like just freak the fuck out. The Guy Ritchie thing where it's just like everything's like a like super zoom. Yeah, no, Guy Ritchie, it's super zooms and snap cuts. You know, yeah. it's it's always like snap cuts. So yeah, it shows like exactly. it shows the guy like pouring the drink, and then it shows the guy from above like drinking it, yeah. knocking it back. Like that's yeah. Guy Ritchie, where it's just I like, like that. Do, do, yeah. do, 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 action. Yeah, you just have like deputy just. <laughs> You know, to activate his thing. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and if, it all happens in a span of five seconds. That's how quickly it's edited together. And then we're outside of the truck. Yeah, it would be for, <laughs> for Guy Ritchie, it would show like you taking the last thing out. It would show the snap would be a shot. And then it would be pulling out would be the shot. And then it going in the gun is a shot. And then you standing outside with it in your hands, making a face. And that would be just yeah. boom, 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 boom. And it would yeah, we, be like, what? We all Charlie's Angel pose in front of the truck for a half second. Just yeah. That, yeah. that perfect shot. And there's like a John Woo pigeon that goes by, you know? Yeah. 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 We pose. Well, and I, make it, I make it spasm. So it goes. <laughs> it's the ground. You just got to hope it's not one of Colm's birds. <laughs> I, I was thinking I like we pose that. and it's like one of those eye things just like snaps a photo really quick. We're like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know the Magistratum was following us around. No crimes. All right. All right. So okay, just for today, um, you are you are going to try to go in through the big sliding door at the front. Um, and and you are you are going with all of your small arms, very well. well. I am. I mean, that's all I do have. So you guys can choose whatever. Greg like to have big arms. <laughs> I almost spit that uh, Dr. Pepper out. <laughs> took me a second. Yeah, Greg like have big arms. I was just like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, like, welcome to the Griglet Gun Show. <laughs> <laughs> Griglet, go to gun show. I am going to, before we try and make entry, very gently see if the door is unlocked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Drop kick the door. <laughs> is is door kicker yeah. style it? As you pull on the door, it does move, but it does start to make noise. It's, What's it's, the noise sound like? Ricky, give me your Valvoline. <laughs> yeah, he just goes, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, he doesn't have any on him. Fuck. Yeah, he, I mean, he, it was, uh, I was actually going for like a can of like Ballastol or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, that, that works. Yeah. Um, you, you might have oil in the truck. We've already made the start of the noise. Yeah. Yeah, we're not, it, it's like an adventure game thing. It's like, like just keep the oil like on the hinges. Can I take some of my hair gel out and see if that's enough? <laughs> Ugh, gross. You're like, pomade, I'm a Dapper Dan man. <laughs> you just like put a blob of that on there and it's like, uh, <laughs> pomade following us where we are going. All right. Uh, I'm going to need you guys. Nearby. I'm going to need you guys to uh, roll for initiative. Wow. Okay. It's a D10 plus your agility bonus. I got nine. 
18. I'm very slow. No, 17. Sorry. No, oh. 18. No. <laughs> yeah, 18. God. Greg yeah, Black, son of Game Over. <laughs> What's your agility at, Magic Guardian? Jesus. No, he gets a two times his bonus because this guy is like oh. crazy. Yeah, okay. So is I like, rolled a 10. Yeah, so rolled a 10, two times four, plus 10. God damn. Goat, what'd you get? He got 11 as well. All right. Yeah. 11. And uh, so who, uh, who, uh, Mike, what'd you get? 11. All right, just making sure. Depp? 11. All right. I'm just going to go in sequence then. Um, all right. Griglack, you may go first. You start to, the, you've started to pull on the door, or rather the sergeant has started to pull on the door, and it starts to issue a protesting squeak. So this is the door. Correct. We're going this way. Correct. How many stories is this? Um, it is three stories. Okay. But all the windows are, are boarded up. That's what I was about to ask. Are you glad to go in? All right, so you just pull it open and go in. All right, now, as you've pulled it open and go in, you see that there is indeed a bread truck in there. And uh, the bread so truck... Rubbing my hands together? The bread truck is in the corner, along with five ratlings. And they appear to be <laughs> sitting near their bread truck, and they turn to look at you. And one of them whispers, I think that's them. Are they mutated? No. Okay. Gentlemen, we're here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> oh. Grenade launch. No. All right, uh, Greg, like, you've gone in. You still have a half action. What do you want to do? Mm. What can you do in a half action? Well, you can consult the big, big board. It's the ones that I ignore. It's okay. I ignore it, too. It's behind us. We can't look behind us. We look forward. Always forward. Always forward. I will ready... Okay. Good call. Good call. Ready my magic sword. Oh, okay. So you just pull out the thing. You're like, <laughs> like ready to. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um. Next is going to be deputy. <laughs> um. Let's see. How far can I travel? What do they look so, hostile? They are carrying weapons. They are not pointed at you at the moment. They seem to not expect you. I thought they looked at us and said, that's them. Correct. They're still oh. reacting to us. They're reacting to you, not acting okay. towards you. Is there you. any cover in the immediate vicinity that I can spot from the doorway? No. There Griglack? is the vehicle in the corner, <laughs> and there no, is Griglack. It's on Griglack cover. Griglack is a form of cover. <laughs> <laughs> Griglack's my spell shield. All right. Then I am going to... How far can I run? Yeah, so I, I can get out this way. Uh, I'm going to run, you know, 18 feet and then uh, dive into a prone position with the shotgun pointed at them. And yell, Magistratum and Danis, drop the weapons. Okay. Uh, they don't. Yeah, I didn't wow. anticipate. How, how did that not work? And that's a full action for me, so I'm now prone. With, with the gun. shotgun. Got it. Okay. Um, that count is braced? It does. Excellent. I thought it would. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, uh oh. Next is Mike. Um, seeing him do that get, makes me go, like, uh, okay, they're not listening. So he's going to also run in. Uh, how far can I run from where I'm at? You should have a run <laughs> I value. Think you could run, like circles around the building. Yeah. Is there a run value? Yeah, you should have it on your sheet. How far if you, you want to shoot, you got to do a charge, though, right? Yeah. If you want to do it all yeah. in one action. Yeah, I, I can I can shoot and move right afterwards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike's character is built for that. I'm built yeah. so I can run into the room with a full action and still shoot and still reload my guns. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna max paint it, is what you're telling me? <laughs> yeah, basically he's just gonna do that whole thing, uh, and yeah, he's gonna dive uh, while shooting. And then on the ground, get up. <laughs> so, are you going to do the Max Payne thing, where you run in and yeah. dive while shooting, and then get up and do that spin and kick the magazines out? That's from Max Payne too, and yes, I am. Go All right, I, I just wanted to. <laughs> I, I remember yeah. that, and yeah, that, it, that's very ridiculous. Yeah, so, so you're going to full John Woo. Got it. Yes, full John Woo on this one. Uh, but I don't see where how far can it says. 
Where, where do you see that on the sheet? Oh, All right. 24. Yeah, 24. That is... Which means you can run up to, like, fucking pistol whip them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to get pretty close. Uh, close enough to be damn near... Like, there, I'd say, is close enough. All right. Yep. And the shooting. The shooting begins. Okay. Uh, so uh, so you're just going to let them have it with both guns. I'm going to yeah. let them have it with both guns. They they heard him. Are these two on the on the left from my perspective on the other side of the truck? Do they have no, no, the the truck is pardon me for not drawing that. Uh the truck is right like here. Right. Okay. It's kind of like yeah, back he, against the wall. He told okay. them to get down. They did not drop their weapons. They're just staring at him. So immediately yeah, I, I, I'm I like drop the weapons as I got down. <laughs> yeah. I'm like How? no. That's How it. far are they from the door? Um, the halflings, or you, or your compatriots? Which of they? Is that correct? Is that sentence? yeah? That is correct. Okay. I think you're just you're doing the equivalent of every D and D wizard. Okay, if I threw the fireball in there, how well, many yeah, people? I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that meme with the lady with this, the math and the three panels. <laughs> Just like, how many people can I kill? Okay. There's only so many I can kill. Yeah. So I rolled 22 on shooting. Okay. Um, that, 29, but it's, yeah. I have 53 ballistics still. So. Yeah, so um, that is two degrees of success, so that's two hits. Let's yeah, go ahead my, and yeah. let's go ahead and give a hit with each gun. What do you say? Okay. Yeah, uh, that would be the Magna Pattern Heavy Revolver and the Hab Pacifier. Correct. So, yeah, he's just doing that. With the yeah. Um, so that would be... So for the revolver, it's 1d10 plus 3i, I think is what it is? Yeah, that's, that is for the revolver, yes. Okay, so 3 plus 3i, and that shoot uh, that hits. Uh, I, I'm not picking a target, so whoever you want, I guess. So, yeah, you're just shooting oh. at nearest. It hits somebody straight in the fucking face, like uh, right in the head. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's that's a lot of damage for uh, a head. Um, yeah, that is a that is a headshot. Okay, well, this guy in the front is gone. His head just, <laughs> you know, just <laughs> absolute sniper elite moment where like the head is explosive. You know, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the slow mo thing. Yeah. And then 2d10 plus 2 on the uh, shotgun. Oh, lag for a second. Another reason why I hate Tabletop Simulator, because you're like, I'm throwing dice, nothing works, you know. So 7 and 6 plus 2. And that all hits the right foot. Oh, God. Oh, okay, yeah. so you, you blow this guy's foot off, and it's just like Tarantino blood. It's, it's like spurting, and the, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> is he's just jetting blood out, you know? And the others look a little shaken. They look a little shaken. Uriah, it's your turn. Oh, right. Um, so Uriah did not take the heavy gun for this one. Let's see how this works out for him. But um, I'm going to half move over here and then draw a frag grenade in my off hand. Oh, interesting. So that's me there. Okay, so you've pulled a hand grenade. Yes. I love it. He's just holding it straight out in front of him. <laughs> you hold it straight out in front of you, and you just start walking. <laughs> you just start walking toward them slowly. <laughs> They're like, oh! <laughs> All right, Diggs? Um, I'll free action distort vision, which I rolled an eight, so we're good. Hmm. Uh, and then that'll make me effectively invisible. Right. I just use my whole turn to walk in the room and lean up against the wall because they have it covered. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you just you're like you're like, and then you just yeah, walk in. Just like, and I'm gone. And then I I distort out of like ten meters away, and I kind of walk in the building, and my image is pretty much shimmering everywhere, and everyone looking's like, where the fuck? Wow. Then, then I actually laid up here, but it looks like I'm anywhere else. That's amazing. All right, so uh, we go back around. Griglack. I saw the grenade. I'm not going to oh. do anything. I'm like, he got this. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's a grenade. I don't need to be involved. All right, so the Rattlings are going now. And here we go. We're going to roll some fucking dice. 
Uh, oh, ooh. all right. Uh, what's the armor on your chest, rich city? The army, Five. uh, the armor on my chest. The Five. army on your chest. Yeah, what's the armor on your chest? Five. Five. Interesting. Very interesting. One moment. Uh, the guy in front here turns towards you and lets loose a rip from a cut-down rifle. The, round, the rounds bounce off the pavement, but one of them hits you in the chest doing seven damage. It hits the armor and goes through, so you have two damage on your health. Ouch! <laughs> that's, that's just you your... toughness? Um, yeah, do you have toughness to soak that? He has 27, so he actually soaks both the two. Oh my god, so it goes <laughs> through and he's like, ah! <laughs> it's like hot, 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 no. <laughs> he, he gets shot, he's like, oh, you motherfucker, you just shot me, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, he does the, he does the family guy like, ah! <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh god, oh. All right, let's see. Uh, stand by. Oh, he rolled a seven. That's four hits. On who? One moment. Ricky, I can only heal so much. <laughs> he fires and hits you for 13 damage. Okay. Uh, where? In the left leg. Okay, left leg is two. And the top is awesome. This is my guy in the corner now. Do the concerned face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what toughness is. All right, so you're you're what is um, twenty seven. All right, so you have two armor and twenty seven toughness. So that's four soak, thirteen damage, nine damage. Ooh, yeah, your leg takes like three rounds, and it's Corleone. You fall over. You are crippled. Okay. Wait, are you below zero wounds? No, no, he has twelve wounds. But his his He's leg very critical. He's, he's he needs some medicines. Four, four damage, you said. Uh, oh, that's good. It's, not me. it's once th through your armor. It's nine damage that got knocked off. Oh, so, like I, oh, okay. So let's have a check that. Okay, I did thirteen total. Uh, thirteen total minus four. Minus nine. two, minus four. Okay, yep. Cool. Yeah. So three three health left. Okay. Yeah. My character, not my character, but my reaction and madness turn on datum. <laughs> This would be the corner. My fucking pants up, oh man. Yeah, he they they fucking shot your leg. They're using short little cut down rifles. They're real bastards. Shot on the leg, just like fucking trailer park boys, Ricky. Oh my god, you did get yeah. shot in the leg like trailer park boys. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, the third one is gonna try to shoot. Um, he hits one. He does four damage to your chest, which bounces off. But you've taken a lot of hits at point blank range. Yeah, and they're going to pay for it. Okay, I got it. So, Griglock, your turn. You've saw you you've seen these guys who got cornered bust out these little cut down rifles, and they just start cutting loose into Ricky, and you see him go down. Yes, I will intercede myself between the red men and the screen. How do you do the the ruler thing, Tab? Yeah, yeah, tab and then drag it. And I will yeah. prepare to medical him next year. Do you have Actually, any medical bad. training? I do. La la la. Uh, okay, because I was going to say, this he, will be... He seared the pain with his sword? Yeah, this this will be very interesting if not. Because it, it'll just be like, he punches the bullets out of you. He's just like, dar, dar, dar. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about an emergency <laughs> field amputation. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, so Griglack is now shielding you with his mighty body. Very well done. Very well done. Um, so, uh, the, the next poor man to go is Deputy. You, you've seen one of your teammates go down in a hail of gunfire. You see Griglack run up and trying to tend to him. These little bastards have cut down rifles that are producing enormous amounts of noise and giant gouts of flame, but they do seem to be effective against your armor. Are you prepared for the death you've just earned, little man? As I pull all four triggers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right, cut it loose. All right, give me a second. It takes uh, a to figure this all up. It does. It does. So good. <laughs> Are you prepared for the death you have earned, little man? <laughs> so, I rolled a 47, weapon skills a 48. Okay, um, that is one. That is that is one hit. But I roll for each barrel, right? Yep. 
That's a 37. That's a hit. Uh, that's a 1. No, the, that's a 10. Oh. <laughs> All right. And uh, 53. So the last one goes wide. All right. So, you know what? There's no way I need you to roll for that. <laughs> you just make that guy go away. <laughs> like, there's, there's just sparks as it goes off the hood of the van, and he's gone. <laughs> He's Jump just cut deleted. Yeah, just just delete. He is he is he is absolutely gone. You are also deafened by the blast of this thing. And one secret part of your heart of hearts just loves the effect. And I I've got rapid reload, so it's it's not even a half action, correct? Yeah, pretty much. That's okay. I uh, very very coolly break yeah. it open. <laughs> Go for it, like Doom Guy. Yeah, I, I just love the idea of Doom Guying that thing where it's just like snap, clack, you know, all four shells yeah, in your hand. A couple fly off. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, just have like a, a three pound milled receiver that I'm just like Terminator style break actioning. Oh my god. Could you imagine, like, you have a fist full of shotgun shells and you're just jamming it? Yeah. <laughs> that or you have a pouch and you drag it through it. <laughs> so just see <laughs> her into the pouch. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, Rich, you're down on the ground. You're pretty fucked up right now. You are not prone. Okay. Well, I think it's Dick's turn next, isn't it? Oh, no, I went right before you. I'm the last guy. Oh, okay. So I'm not, you said I'm not prone. Correct. That doesn't stop me from firing my firearms. It does not. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and I'm probably uh, going to... Do I take any disadvantage for being... Uh, Massively hurt? No, because it's not your shooting hands. So Greg likes like, I protect you, and then two guns poke out between his legs. <laughs> you see him jump, like... Oh. <laughs> you got your arms around him, you're like... <laughs> Oh yeah, he straight up misses. He just he just points... He goes to, like, uh, fire his gun, and he just, he just goes and grabs his leg instead. <laughs> he's like, ah! Yeah, he goes, he's like, oh, oh fuck! Oh! Why does this hurt so much? <laughs> Why do I shoot people? Yeah, you're like, who knew <laughs> guns? I realize that these aren't fun. <laughs> <laughs> who knew guns hurted? Yeah. Why I hurty? <laughs> oh, hurty. <laughs> All right, uh, Uriah, you you've seen some hilarious gunplay in the last few scenes. All right. Oh, man. Okay, uh, Uriah is just going to uh, sprint to over here. Okay. That's my action. All right. <laughs> All right. Very fast. Yeah, still got that grenade. He's, he's like holding it like, uh, like a stewardess holds a scotch during turbulence. You know what I mean? <laughs> just... Uh, <Okay. laughs> it's it's pure real property. Right, 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 right. I'm very, I'm very glad the mysterious device was not invoked. <laughs> I, I kind of want to see it, but I'm worried. I'm very worried. Well, I mean, it was a gift. Gift? Of <laughs> a very good gift. A gift from a very, very peculiar individual. He's not a bad man, you know. No. No, Just, he's not. And I don't think he would intentionally try to disrupt our mission. Of course not. Intentionally. No way. He's busy with his birds, after all. He is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, next is Diggs. You, you're, you, you, you get the feeling that this may be going bad. But if my turn comes up, suddenly I'm very visible on the wall. But no one's looking at me, so it doesn't matter. Let me check the range on something. <laughs> Shit, I can't do it. Uh, so I guess I'll do the other thing. Rolling for distort vision again. Ten, so perfect. I'm gonna use half my action to go to like. Oh, actually, what's my walk speed half action? Right. I am so. This is as far as I can go from there to there. I guess I'll have to do it from here. So I disappear, go to here, and then I'll use my other half action to invoke flashbang on the uh, remaining two. Oh, good choice. Roll two power for this, and double eights, which way up, actually doubles, triples, so it's two steps harder for them to... They need to make a willpower at challenge rating at zero. Right. So let's go ahead and play that. 
No, they don't. <laughs> it's it's All just right. so suddenly there's just a huge thunder clap of light that just blinds the shit out of and deafens them. Yeah, they're they're stumbling around. Boom. Put on my shades before I do that, just in case. <laughs> you just snap your shades close and slide them on. You're like, I'm good at this. All right, uh, great. Uh, actually, it's their turn. Um, so one of them is stumbling around, and the other shouts, "Open the hatch!" Well, technically, flashbang is a stun for one round. I know. Oh, he can't do shit. Nope. <laughs> oh wait, no, someone else could do it though. Mm-hmm. Oh no. All right, it is now Gringlax's turn. Well, since our wizard didn't heal uh, the strange one... I had to be within 10 meters. You could have charged. I can't cast if I I charge with a full action. (laughs) Um, That's why I thought of it. I could heal him, but I have to be within 10. Yeah, but imagine imagine if you charged while doing incantations and you (laughs) slip on your robe or whatever, and then you just, like, demons. (laughs) I fall, but I fall through the ground and a demon falls out of the ground. (laughs) No, you just you fall through the ground like a clipping error in a game, and and no one ever sees you again. You're just like, Cut! and people are like, what? what? Where are you? <laughs> like an ocarina of time speedrunner. Oh, God. hey you! It, where's, what's below this? Oh, there's no basement. <laughs> yeah, he's so gone. Roll under my intelligence, right? Oh, you're gonna. Oh no, <laughs> Griglack surgery. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> All right, here we go. Under 37. There's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this my character? No, it is not. Wait, let me... <laughs> You're looking at somebody else's character sheet. <laughs> oh, 33. Yeah, even better. Right. Oh, wait, no, I don't have Medicaid. I was looking at some... Oh, wait, I'm still... Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? Oh, <laughs> what is this game? All right, 30. Even better. <laughs> You do have Medicaid as a... Uh, yes. But I still have to roll under 30. You have to roll under 30, buddy. 44. Oh. <laughs> uh, Griglack... He just pulls the leg off there. Now it can't hurt. It's not on there anymore. Griglack tries as best he can to apply the healing techniques of the Big Hand tribe. Unfortunately, these techniques are very painful. And Rich City stands there lays there screaming his head off, which yeah. distracts ah. Griglack. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Does it hurt if I do this? <laughs> yeah, you're, oh. you're like... <laughs> that fucking hurts! That you're like fucking... touching the wound with your hand. <laughs> Just like... Yep, he's wounded all right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's blood. <laughs> uh, you fail, sir. I'm sorry. Um, oh God, that's too funny. All right, deputy. Okay, so let me let me consult the board of actions. The board of actions, because I have an idea for what I want to accomplish, but I'm not sure if it's going to uh, work. They're stunned. Go kill them. We can do with him later. Well, that's mm, if you're stunned, are you easy to hit? Yeah, I, I assume that them still being stunned means that I pretty much succeed if I if I wanted to go do something to them. Sorry, uh, say again? You were breaking up? I'm not sure if it's Discord. No, I think I was too far away from my mic. Okay, so I want to uh, approach, you know, uh, push myself up off the deck, get up to this guy, and uh, have him eat shotgun butt. Oh, so you want to, like, butt stroke him. Like, just... Yeah, while, he's, pl- while he's stunned, because he's the one that's stumbling around. Oh, God, yeah, dude. Plus 20 to hit if there's... Yeah, he's, he can't do shit. He, he's like... Uh, uh, and so, yeah, okay. clobber him. Here's the other thing, though, is... Hold on, what's the distance here? Ten yeah, distance... I'm, that's why I'm glad we're going to be moving to a foundry. Cause yes. It, I feel like everything is... This is a football field to my character. Yeah, and that's 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 what I want to do, is I, I really do want to get into a system where it's just going to be so much easier. Um, okay. Yeah. Can I approach him, because he's within my half, lay the shotgun on that one's shoulder, and blow the other one away? Oh, so this is getting retarded. <laughs> I, want, I want the muzzle blast to deafen and just blow the eardrums out of this guy. To continue stunning him while actually killing the other guy. If you use a fate point to roll, I will make that happen. 
<laughs> <laughs> I will I, I will happily trade a fate for that. That is retarded. Okay. All right. I am only using one barrel. Nineteen. <sighs> Okay, um, you you managed to accomplish just that. You deafen one guy with the blast. You muzzle you you bunt the guy in the face, and you you nail the second guy. Roll for damage. Jesus Christ! Okay. Talk about a Chad move. <laughs> <laughs> you just Rah! and he's like, oh. <laughs> uh, let's see, four plus uh, God. Okay, so eight. Uh, location? I'm rolling now. Uh, location's gonna be left arm. Oh yeah, that's gone. <laughs> it just... And then just jetting blood, and he's like... And he so dies. drop your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. No, you, you should have said, now you are disarmed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> All I right. said to drop your arms. Oh, there we go. But yeah, no, this uh, this first guy here is... Uh, yeah, is Shove him to the ground and cuff him while he screams about not being able to hear or see anymore. Yeah, he's um, having some difficulties. <laughs> some rather serious Why? ones. Uh, after being flashbanged and then deafened by probably the galaxy's loudest 12-gauge. <laughs> The only thing you could hear was a louder sound. Yeah, it's like, just like mop, mop, mop. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't hear anything. Bam! I heard that. He's just bleeding out. Yeah, he's like, he's like, how could it get worse than this? Oh my god, it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> There's like unburned powder. Yeah, yeah. He's he, he all he's squealing about as you put him on his chest. All uh, he he just keeps squealing about open the hatch, open the hatch. God damn it, open the hatch. <laughs> and you see Under the header. Yeah. Under the header. <laughs> <laughs> but as you see, as you get closer over here and combat ends, there is indeed a hatch in the floor. Araya, do you still have that hand grenade? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's right here, sir. <laughs> uh, I think we should judiciously apply it to that hatch. <laughs> I just hold it. I just like hold it out for him, like a server would would hold out like a drink tray. <laughs> does Does he require grenade training to just drop it down the hatch? No, no. I'm just okay, you then you it. should you two should do the honors. I'm cuffing right, the kid. He's like, um, pull the pin. Count to three. Don't count. No, throw. no more than four. <laughs> two. And then he just seems to like hesitate. With it, thankfully, the spool's still in. Yeah, uh, and then he drops down the hatch. A few seconds later, you hatch, hear. Please. Yeah, <laughs> a few <laughs> seconds later, you hear a muffled bang and some tinkling noises on the underside of that hatch, and it lifts an inch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is safe for us to enter. <laughs> <laughs> As you lift the hatch, smoke rolls out, and you see a long ladder going straight down. There's nothing at the base of the ladder. But soon, you start hearing footsteps through ankle-high water and shouting and the barking of hounds. You seem to have alerted them with that grenade. Yeah, you went some, you need some. You Get do more grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have my more, sir. Well, I mean you have you have all those grenades and then you have the thing. Oh the the orb? <laughs> I wonder what that does crack. Oh <laughs> no. If I see that I float out the door. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned that. Okay. Um you're gonna drop that after activating it. Those words came out of your mouth. Give me any indication no. how to actually activate that. Oh yeah, he 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 pointed at a thing, there's a but there's a button. There's, there's a button? Uh-huh. I'm just over here screaming. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, you should back up. Someone carry him outside. <laughs> are, okay, I have to ask this as a DM. You are pressing the button, and you are dropping it down the shaft. It, watch it be like a full truck that's like an emergency escape vehicle. <laughs> just explode into existence inside the hole. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we catch up? 
Shouldn't we patch up the strange one who is on vapors before we use explosives? <laughs> yeah, let's let's focus on <laughs> they're, they're shouting in dogs. They are coming closer. To, to the ladder come, that they have they, to climb. I'm gonna yeah, they've got to come up to the ladder. <laughs> I've got a machine gun and have a you, shotgun at the I've top. I've never seen a dog climb a ladder, so... Well, you, unless there was another exit from the sewer nearby. Um, the one I blocked with the truck? The one that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one that's doors may open inward? Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, someone left us this truck. <laughs> fuck. They open the doors inward and it just falls. <laughs> <laughs> so, I walk over to Ricky. Uh-huh. And I channel Healer from the warp, because it's a good place to be. And uh, I did successfully pass, and I rolled a seven, so it's half to three. So he heals three wounds, and that's all I can do today. Uh, that is enough for Ricky to stand, but he is still in a lot of pain. However, he's yeah. not bleeding out right now. You see your bo- all the bullets in your leg kind of like push out of your leg, like, and then like this weird black energy kind of covers it, like a like a quick scab. Your pants are fucking ruined, though. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. he just has one pant leg that's just all fucked up, and he's is just Greg standing. Still wearing ripped pants. Yeah, yeah. His pants has always been kind of fucked up, and now they're really fucked up. And now he just like he's just like, thanks, man. He lights up a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. If I see him push that button, I do sprint full speed out the door. <laughs> I am very worried about what that thing actually does. Well, you said... Uh, where we could find out that... <laughs> Never mind, he already said it. No, he said it. It's going to happen. I just need to know in what order. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I need you guys to evacuate Ricky to the truck. <laughs> back off yourselves. I don't have that kind of strength, but... <laughs> and uh, so the hatch is still physically attached. It's just bent now from the explosion. A little bit. Okay, I'm Be, going dude. To if you press it, it and then try to open it, does it open? Your uh oh. No, I'm going <laughs> to put my arm grab inside everything. the hatch. Do I need to press roll the button? Though? Retreat and start running. Okay. Do I need to roll to pick up. No, I I can actually walk. He can walk. Yeah, and I'm oh, yeah. I'm waiting until I know they're this. All right, so I so you guys all going to kill me. All right, so you guys all leave the building. Yeah, they they back out. All right, one moment. I go inside the other vehicle. Stand by. Oh, you're in the bread van. Yeah. Wait, I mean, you're it's like bread. right next to me. Oh, I'm, like, I'm outside. Whatever's oh, outside. Oh, yeah, the oh, bread van's in the vehicle. Yeah. Our vehicle. Oh, yeah, because they're gonna say that's next to the hatch. Um. All right, you start to see oh, a. Don't you, fuck me. You start to feel it at first. It's a change in atmospheric pressure that is rather <laughs> sharp. All of your ears pop and your teeth start to rattle as the street moves and the street lamps start waving like spaghetti. You see a <laughs> blinding white light come out of the building and huge cracks start to form in the pavement. I, and the light and sphere of light is growing bigger and bigger and bigger. What do you do? I run. Keep moving. <laughs> Are you going to get into the vehicle? Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this, isn't even like, this is like a, a reaction to something like this would be like, let's get the fuck out of here. Please. All right. All right. <laughs> Fate point that drive test, please. Yeah, you're going to yeah. need to do a drive check, bud. I think Arai is the other person with drive. Yes, that is correct. Do you want me to drive? <laughs> Well, he's the one just running in from the building like, that's starting to shake. Like yeah, your so life? Did I make it out of the building? I just assumed I didn't. Yeah, no, you make it out of the building. You're all oh, in the... fuck yeah! yeah. I'm, I'm getting in the truck. All right. Yeah. You, you've made it out of the building. You are all in the vehicle, and I would suggest you roll that drive check like your life depends on it. <laughs> Why did he give us a small nuke? <laughs> you do that! All right. This guy's a bad man! <laughs> That's a 40. I exactly match my agility. Oh, thank you. oh, my sweet Jesus. All right. So as you peel out, you see the pavement rippling up behind you and you make it two blocks before it subsides in an instant. And as you look in the rearview mirror and come to a stop, all you can hear is vehicle and building alarms as severed water mains splash water into the air and the block is gone. 
<laughs> Why the fuck was there not a delay on that? <laughs> Sergeant, Sergeant, remember when he you said he deploys this munition? Sergeant, he's what was the condition of getting three days off? Forward <laughs> <laughs> to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a missing dog case and then the block exploded. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any dogs in there, they're not in there anymore. <laughs> if there were missing dogs, the block is now missing. <laughs> they stole the block. <laughs> Captain, we need to it's not the about the dogs. Jack. We're missing a whole block. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, they have powers to make blocks disappear. This is a serious issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there... Is we, there it was all them. Is there... You said it subsided at an instant. Is there, like, a mushroom cloud behind us now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! That's very giving away, I think. <laughs> However, it subsides fairly quickly. And you don't taste metal. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay. However, you start to get a uh, staticky uh, click on the Vox, and you hear uh, Delta, Delta G17, Delta. Uh, D Delta, here, come in, G17. Investigate uh, municipal water pressure, electrical, and natural gas outage approximately one block from your location. Um... Uh, Three days off. Three days. <laughs> um, aff affirmative investigating over and out. <clears throat> they, don't what, they, they don't know it was us. <laughs> we need, we need to blame them he, he says it for getting to hang up the phone. Yeah, you're like talking. They don't know it was us. <laughs> Oh, so, guys, they don't know it was us. Yeah, we're right on. <laughs> we, all, we all take a breather in the truck for a second. Okay, so gentlemen, we cornered the rattlings and they activated an experimental weapon. <laughs> Can I sci science the area in case there was any kind of warp it. disruption because of the explosion? Sure. I passed, 41. You detect several dozen rattling souls being sucked into the warp screaming. Well, they uh, deserve that. What about dog souls? I'm specifically searching for dog <laughs> souls. The dogs have gone to heaven, sir. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Heaven. However, there is a hole in the watershed district. <laughs> I mean, if we fill it with water, it's it's more watershed. I, I just, I water just, in the hole. I just imagine you guys sitting all in the vehicle, like just all very still, very shocked, and then one guy just screams after like a minute, just ah, <laughs> and everyone jumps. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think we can tell them we found the cause. <laughs> Those uh, rallies have weird I'll, tech. I'll man. make sure to revise your report, Sergeant. <laughs> I think what is it? What are we saying? It was it was the ratlings? That old device? Always bl blame the ratlings. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna end it here for tonight. I should not have mentioned that other thing. <laughs> yeah. I had this whole I wanted to know what it did. I had this be one of those items that we use at the end of the game. Right, like that was throw it at the boss. And right, like, that was fucker. That was that was <laughs> that was what I had hoped. It would just be a random item that you'd forget about for the whole game, and then at the end, throw this massively powerful short range explosive. And well, you know, this is funny. <laughs> children fire and yeah. played with it. I know. <laughs> so yeah, no, I uh, I was joking, but you said no. I said it, so I was like, "Fuck it, yeah, let's do it." No, when someone's, uh, I did not expect to survive that. I expected that that was a suicide mission. No, uh, whether it was warp or your explosive power. I was scared I for the warp was... part because that's my problem. Yeah, I, I expected like it would destroy the block and then you'd be fighting Demon Krieger. No, no, no. Um, it's, it's Demon just, Krieger is my favorite Krieger. It's just good old fashioned cursed mechanic as shit. Okay. I need to see if Colm can get me another. <laughs> Colm's gonna be like, "We found that in a, a death in a space hole years ago." <laughs> yeah, that was that was a one of a kind, irreplaceable. <laughs> Well, we're more than the GDP of this planet, and he used it to blow up twelve ratlings and some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jesus it, Christ! It was a power source for for a, for like a ship or something. I gave you a battery, and you blew up a block. <laughs> By the way, I oh. have uh, I have foundry up. 
you yeah, he just sent me a picture of it. It looks awesome. Cool. I'll have to buy Foundry uh, myself. But yeah, that's where we'll be taking it after this.